guys, it's Emily and this is Emily Lou Arts and I'm back again today to work on our masterpiece in the making. This is collage. I mean, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> this is collage pieces um, that yesterday we mat mediumed onto this canvas. And today we're going to keep playing and I don't know where it's going to end up. So let's do it together. Okay, so you guys, I'm having so much fun with this. I can't even tell you. I am thrilled beyond belief, like so excited to sit down and do it. So that means we're doing something right, huh? Um, what is that noise? No, Daddy, don't get it in my garbage can. So if you're new here, I mean, people were unsubscribing like their hair was on fire yesterday. So if you're here for journaling, that's not what I'm doing today. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this. Um, which is just arting, just playing and chatting. And it's something you can have on in the background or watch while you do art or do laundry or clean your basement or do whatever you want to do. Um, cause I like to just chat with you guys as well. Um, and it's not about the subscribers. It's about the fun. So I... The ones of you that love it, love it. And that makes me so happy. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I wanted to try and see if I could use some fabric pieces also in this. Like, would, could that be cute? I think that could be cute. Like... Almost as if she's sitting on this little blanket, maybe? How would that work, though? <laughs> it would kind of, I think, have to go underneath her. Um, like I said, if you're new, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is all brand, brand new to me. Oh, this could be brand new to me. So we are experimenting and just playing and having fun. And so if you like the sound of that, then by all means, please stick around. If you don't, then I apologize. You don't have to stay, but I would love it if you did. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Ooh, and it's the exact shade of like that, of the moon. Wouldn't it be kind of fun if the sun sort of had a little bit of that shade in it? Or maybe if it was, hmm. You guys will have to tell me how you like this um, filmed. Because I noticed yesterday I kind of got out of frame and that probably really annoyed some of you. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure about the fabric yet. I don't know what to do with that quite yet. Um, so maybe, maybe let's try doing some paint. I have the, my Arteza paint pens, and this is just going to be layers, guys. We're just experimenting, having fun. So my pieces up here, I was kind of thinking I wanted to trace around these guys where it'll butt up against the like kind of inky bluey black sky with something that will make them stand out kind of like an ethereal light so i don't know if i want to outline like kind of trace out around them in gold or silver maybe something that'll make them seem a little spacey you know what i mean or like there's light behind them that would probably require silver wouldn't it i don't know if this is gonna work we're just gonna try Oh, there we go. Maybe it's like light from another planet. Oh, I guess then that would be like a drop shadow, huh? Like, like maybe it should be lit from this way and then the rest would be in shadow. Hmm. Well, that's an idea. 
like I said, I don't don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, maybe I kind of like that. This is like the shadow of there's some kind of light coming in this way. Maybe it would give it some more. Um, or no, I guess the light would be coming from this way. I don't know. We're going to see. We're just going to see. Oops, sorry. That's an annoying noise. These are Teza paint markers. Um, I worked with Arteza a little bit a few times on my channel. Um, and so they sent me these a long time ago. This was a, this was a while ago. Um, and uh, we have used them so much. Addie has used them for so many projects and like things like this, like that you wouldn't even like realize we have used them so much, like <laughs> all the time. It's crazy. Um, I, I need to buy new ones because we've used them so much that they're kind of like, um, they're beat up because <laughs> we've just used the heck out of them for like every kind of craft imaginable. I'm just adding the shadow to all these little things. So you guys will have to tell me what you do while you watch these videos. My friend Marike says that she has been watercoloring. So that's awesome. I'm thinking, I just thought maybe if there was this little bit of space around it, it would be a, li a little easier to paint around them. You know what I mean? Possibly. Hmm, let's see. I guess the light will be shining like that. And if I'm doing shadows and everything wrong, just, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. We don't really know what we're doing here. We're just playing. Um, I kind of like that though, huh? You think? And then maybe I want to trace around some of these things down here and give them a little zhuzh. What is this? Gold? gold. She gold. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, this kind of makes it look like the sun sort of like radiating. Ooh, I like that. Okay, guys. Maybe my star could be like floating around. Ooh, add a little bit of gold to these stars. That's kind of fun. They're kind of goldy, kind of orangey. Kind of greeny. <laughs> um, let's see. I am truly just playing here. So this is what we get. So I guess if the light's coming from this, she would have a little bit of a shadow behind her. This whole, I've never tried to do art with like shadows and real stuff before, you know? So this is interesting. This is interesting. Never tried to do it real. You know, in the art piece, she obviously had, or in the thing, she obviously had shadows behind her because she's sitting. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should do some green down here. Mm. I could just easily get very carried away, couldn't I? Ooh, I like, that's a bright green. That's a bright green. Um, let's 
see. What am I doing here? What am I doing? That is the question. Maybe we should focus on the sky first because I have a little bit better of an idea of what I want to do up there. Sort of maybe. I think I want this little ocean wavy thing to continue down here. So I wonder if I have any light blue paint and that would match that. This is where things are going to get slightly complex because I don't know if I can match my, these paints very well. So it's going to be trial and error. maybe add some white to it if it's really not blue enough. So how are you guys? A couple people have asked me, um, you noticed my tattoos. I got them, um, let me make sure I'm still in the frame for you. Sorry. Oh yeah, see the canvas is all the way out of the frame. Oh lord, I'm sorry. Um, I got them, uh, like maybe four weeks, three weeks ago? I'm not really sure. It's been a, a little bit now. I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, it wasn't a spur of the moment decision. I've been wanting these for a long time. Ooh. Um, this is to uh, a line drawing of two geese. And um, I always call my kids, since they were little, I've called them goose. Both of them. Goose, gooses my geese. Um, and so they represent Henry and Addie and I kind of love how they're like, um, flying. They're on the, the hand with my wedding ring and kind of coming down from my heart and they're flying away from me. Kind of reminds me that I, my whole job is to prepare them to fly away from me, not stay with me forever, but to prepare them for life and that they're always with me, you know? So teach them how to spread their wings and I love it. This one is a water lily um, and has a lot of significance for me. Um, just personally, water lilies kind of, it looks like kind of like a cross between a water lily and a lotus, I guess. Um, they're just pretty similar. Uh, they kind of spring from the mud and the muck. They keep blooming. And it's a flower of Pisces. And also the flower, water lily, is the flower of July, which is Michael's birth month. And I wanted them... Whoa, that... <laughs> my, my thing just flew off. Um, that never is a good thing, right? Um, when your thing flies off. <laughs> um, I wanted them uh, kind of like similar in similar places, kind of, um, uh, balancing each other out because it reminds me also of balance because I didn't want something just representing my kids because it's always been a struggle for me balancing myself and my kids. I tend to give all of my time and energy and everything to my kids and I need to remember to work on myself too to fill my own cup before I can take care of them so and my marriage and everything so that's why it's balance between them and us and me and them getting older and learning to fly and me having to go with it <laughs> that's what they represent and I really love them this is a pretty good match huh does it need to be a little bit lighter Maybe I'll just blend it in with these and then it will work. Um, so yeah, it, it didn't hurt. Um, people, I guess probably, uh, you know, it's not a real painful place, I don't think. Acrylic paint is so nice. If you don't like it somewhere, you just like wipe it, wipe it off. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't painful. And um, the person who did it, um, I, I just really loved him. It, it like just worked out because I had emailed a couple places in town, um, that I got like recommendations from people like, oh, I know somebody that got a tattoo here and they really liked how it was done and stuff. And, um, like I never heard back from those places and, um, or those artists or whatever. 
and like that's fine um but it just seemed like um it was just not meant to be they weren't you know and I had um heard of this place that I ended up going and I called this guy and he actually answered the phone like tattoo places don't <laughs> answer phones um and um I talked to him and he was super nice and um had a, a lot of experience but I felt like some tattoo people that like were you know had more experience didn't want to do stuff like this like it was beneath them because <laughs> it was just too simple and would be not worth their time is kind of like the impression that I got I don't know um because yeah it didn't take a long time um but he was totally cool and just I I really liked him and it just worked out really well yeah I really really enjoyed getting it done by him and he was super funny and made me feel really comfortable and at ease and um <laughs> I was like do you do you like this I mean I kind of wanted like you know a professional opinion I'm like is this stupid is this a bad idea and he's like hey I have done some crazy tattoos so you cannot ask me <laughs> if it's what you want then that is all that matters and uh he's like once I tattooed um a medusa on this lady's leg except for the hair instead of snakes it was all dicks we called it dick dusa <laughs> i was like oh okay so yeah you just sort of go with what people want huh? <laughs> he's like no judgment here <laughs> he's like it turned out cool she's actually a, a kindergarten teacher in osceola <laughs> i was like that's amazing <laughs> and she's got dick dusa on her leg i thought that was so funny oh my gosh I guess I need water, huh? I like this. That matched really well. And we kind of just blended it in, sort of. Now that's like the, the, um, I guess should I do a little ocean here? Should the, the ocean waves stop here or should this be night sky behind him? I think night sky. He's sailing out of the space ocean playing for or maybe it's just clouds i don't know but this is going to be space so i need to wash my brush Um, okay. I love these paint pens. That was really handy. Um, I want this color to be very similar to like this deep moody navy kind of color. So I think I'm gonna have to take one of my blues and maybe add some black to it possibly. Or maybe it's just navy or this dark blue. Let's see what these look like. And this could be so boring, you guys. And if that is the case, I apologize. Oh, what? maybe I just like it navy. Maybe navy is the color that I was thinking of in my mind. Maybe. Um, now, see, this is where maybe I possibly should have gessoed this, the remaining canvas. So, but I'm not sure. So we're just going to play it by ear, I guess, and see. Maybe if I traced in front of these or around, it would make it so I didn't have to get so close. Let's see what these blues look like. With the paintbrush? Mm, not really, let's see. I can get a more precise paintbrush too. Ooh, I kinda like that color. Yeah, it's gonna be like does it need to be a little darker? I think it needs to be a little blacker because it's night. It's space. It's supposed to be space. Let's see. Ugh. Add a little 
little bit of black to this and see what happens. I know, Fanny, we're just playing. We're just playing. Okay, I think that might be what I want. Possibly. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna like place color maybe and then come in with a more precise sort of brush, possibly. Is this painful guys? Watching me not know what I'm doing? Oh, there's a cat barfing. Now you get the full experience of my life. There's a cat barfing somewhere. Gotta find the carpet first. Don't dare do it on the hardwood floor where it's easy to clean up. No. Dick. Oh, these animals. Why do we... They rule our lives. I kind of like that I can, if it overlaps on my images, I can kind of just wipe it off. So that's nice. Like my finger, if I get there fast enough. Oop, on the Daphne's diary paper, it doesn't wipe off as easy because it's not glossy paper. But that's okay. Who's puking? Who is that? Skinny, is that you? Fatty, is that you? I need to see who's losing the lunch that I just gave them. God. Who is it? Where are you? Real glamorous life around here. Oh shoot, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I have tried everything, these cats. These cats, they drive me to drink. Oh, I, I'm painting over the silver. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do the navy and then I can go back in with the silver. Now that would have been a good idea, huh? I wish I had a navy paint pen. One of the commenters said Posca paint pens and I had forgot all about my Posca paint pens. I have them, um, but they're really old and dried up, so I should get some new ones. That would be good. That would be a good thing to get. Trying not to buy too much stuff before. Because Lord knows I've got a lot of stuff. I should just be able to use what I have. So we're just painting sky now. This is just going to be relaxing, I hope, and far from perfect. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Now this is the kind of thing I need to know if you want me to fast forward through. Henry wanted to know if I wanted to go to Camp Geiger with him this summer. Camp Geiger is one of the one of the Boy Scout camps. It's in Missouri and like it's one of the big Boy Scout camps and they stay for a week and it's like camping camping. Like they're in like a canvas like tent thing that those stay there year round. Um I th I think. I mean the canvas they take down like in the winter or whatever, but um, yeah, you're in like a, a little thing and it's like in the backwoods. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Of Missouri. It's, oh, I had wipes in here. No. Oh no. Okay. Well, 
I guess my frog has a little blue suit. Um, but yeah, he wanted to know if I, cause last year, um, Michael's dad, so Henry's grandpa, um, went with him cause they needed some more adults or they wouldn't be able to go cause Michael couldn't go because he had, would have to take a full week off of work and he couldn't do that. Um, and I couldn't go because, well, A, it's like, it's like camping, camping. <laughs> and, um, I didn't know if I was up for that. And I didn't know if moms went. Like, I didn't, you know, I just didn't think that he would want me to go or whatever. I mean, um, and then, so his grandpa ended up wanting to go with him, um, and made another adult. So it worked out perfectly. Um, and they had a really great time. Um, but I don't know if Grandpa Steve is going to want to go again this summer. And I asked Henry, I was like, well, what if, um, what if I went? Cause I guess some moms do go because the adults are, are really, they're just there for like, you know, sh like chaperone. I mean, the boys, they do everything and set everything up and kind of run everything. And the adults are there just so that there's adults there. <laughs> so I don't really have to do anything. I just kind of follow them around to activities if I want to, or just sit and, um, read a book or do whatever, you know? Um, so that doesn't sound too bad, but I don't know what Addie would do. I guess we'd have to see if maybe grandma could stay here with her while I went and did that. He seemed pretty excited when I asked him, is that something you would want me to do? He's like, ah, well, first he laughed because he's like, oh, really? Like you would really go? And I was like, well, if you want me to, like if they needed more adults or else you couldn't go, then yeah, I would go because I want you guys to be able to do it because they loved it last year. Like his, his, uh, den or troop or whatever, his scouting people. Um, and so he's like, yeah, I would love it if you went. And he's like, I just don't know if you'll like it. I was like, why? You don't think I can hack it? You don't think I can do it? And he's like, no, but there's a lot of bugs. <laughs> And even my father-in-law was like, God, the bugs are big in Missouri. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Um, so we'll see. That's in June if I end up doing that. Uh, it could be fun, though. I'm actually down to go if they need somebody. I'm not trying to get too close because I think I, I have a, a different brush that I can do this little detail work. I'm just trying to lay down the paint in bigger swaths here so you guys don't have to watch me monkey around with this for 97 hours. Oh, what was I saying? You'll have to tell me if you like to be able to have, if I zoom in on one area, you know, so you can see better what's happening or if you like the whole picture and then you can zoom in on the place that you want to see more. So you let me know. Because I'm down to clown. Down for whatever. Whatever floats you guys, I will entertain. This little frog is so cute. Playing the violin for the moon. I have time to work on this today because, did I already tell you this? My job share partner was having daycare problems, so she wanted to work all day today if I would work all day tomorrow on Friday. And I was like, oh, sure. I can do that. I can do that. I need, I need a more precise brush. I'm fucking this up. And I don't even think I'm in frame. Now it's really coming out that I don't did do this. Yes, I am seeing the appeal of paint pens at this point. I might need to be looking for more paint pens. Just because you could kind of trace in really easily 
next to things, get closer. You know what I mean? But this seems to be going on over the uh, matte medium just fine. So that's good. Let's see how it dries. Like I said, this could look very interesting. And by interesting, I mean like trash. But then we had fun. Anything else new and exciting to tell you? We don't get to catch up this often. Usually in my voiceovers, you just get to hear all the exciting things and none of the boring parts of my life, which are the majority of everything. So now you can see the truth of the matter. Oh, somebody asked about my hair too. I, um, it needed a trim, like to keep it short and I was loving it short, um, but I wanted it even shorter. So I gave her a picture of, um, an even shorter do and she gave me exactly what I wanted. She had to shave like these two weird hair balls that grow on the sides of my neck. I'm like a werewolf. I was like, you're going to see when I have short hair, like as soon as you cut, because it's been a while since she's cut my hair short. I'm like, you're going to see that we need to like shave some parts of my neck because, <laughs> well, because this is really short, but also because um, my hair grows in two odd, like the normal hairline, but then on the sides of my neck, there's these two weird balls <laughs> that come to two weird hairy balls on my neck. <laughs> Um, that are, make me very self-conscious when I wear my hair in a ponytail. Um, and I always like want to kind of shave them off, but I've never been brave enough to do that. Cause I was like, well, what if it looks weird? Um, but, uh, she was, <laughs> she was looking at my hair and she's like, yeah, do you mind if I wax your neck? Cause we're going to have to like get those off. And I was like, go girl. I don't know what they are, but, um, my <laughs> My mom has the same thing and we go to the same girl that cuts our hair and I'm like, my mom has the same two weird hairy balls too. So you'll see those because <laughs> I got my hair cut Monday and my mom went yesterday. <laughs> I was like, well, when my mom comes Wednesday, you'll see her hairy neck balls too. And she's like, you do not have hairy neck balls. <sighs> but then she's like, oh, you kind of do. Let's wax those. <laughs> so. Perfect. She said she could have, um, like cut them obviously with clippers, but, um, they would grow back a little bit, um, like finer and like a little less longer time before I had to like do some maintenance on them if I waxed it. So whew, that, that was a sensation. I don't think I've ever waxed anything. Um, I think I waxed my upper lip after I had Henry the hormones were crazy, man. I got this weird mustache. I mean, I still have the weird mustache, but now I just shave it off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the first time I saw it, I was taken aback. I was quite taken aback when I looked in the mirror and discovered that I had a very dark, hairy upper lip <laughs> and needed to do something about that ASAP. And I drove to a salon that was like, near our house in North Carolina. And I was like, somebody help me. I don't know what's happening, but I have a lot of hair on my lip and this has never happened before. <laughs> and she's like, did you just have a baby? I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, the joys. Night sweats and hairy lips and hairy nipples. God, the whole nine yards. It's a real sexy endeavor having kids mastitis salami nipples yeah 
I never had eczema until I got pregnant with Henry. Then I got like rashy. I'm just a walking rash all the time. So that was a gift that I got from my son. I kind of like how this is swirly. It's sort of, um, it's kind of like um, Da Vinci-esque. What's the night sky, starry night? Kind of like that, how it swirls. Did I just compare, did I just compare my collage painting to Da Vinci? <laughs> is it Da Vinci, starry night? No. I'm having a I'm having a moment where I can't remember, but that was funny. No, but you see how this, this it's kind of some texture in the background. That's sort of what it reminds me of. <laughs> oh dear. If you guys are still with me, then I can sort of see why people are unsubscribing. <laughs> Separating the wheat from the chaff here. You guys are my ride or dies if you're sticking around which I love. When Henry and his friend picked up their camping, like their sleeping bags from their camping trip last summer, there was a snake underneath one of the tarps that had just been chilling there all week. <sighs> Am I really considering doing this? <laughs> like a gardener snake, like a little harmless thing, but... Yep, it was there. <laughs> and then, so they've got these like wooden cot things that you you set your sleeping bag and um, your camping mattress and your bug net on top of because you got to sleep with a bug net because it's super buggy. <laughs> and um, the only thing that truly that scares me that st would stop me is that the mosquitoes. I get eaten alive and it does not matter what I put on. I could put, I could douse myself in gasoline and those mosquitoes would just suck the living shit out of me. They don't care. I don't know what it is, but they just kill me. We'll be in the yard and Michael will get no bug bites. I don't think he has like the mosquito allergy or whatever. Um, is that true? Is that a thing? Can people not get bug bites, mosquito bites? Cause he doesn't. Um, and I'll have like 12 in five minutes. It's awful. So that makes me nervous. <laughs> I don't know if I would be able to handle being eat up, eaten alive by mosquitoes for a week. But we'll see. We'll play it by ear. This is sort of taking shape. I mean, I'm seeing the night, which is where I was going with this. And then I'm gonna have to do the detail work with a smaller brush. Because these little cricket legs, those little sons of bitches are tiny. The little sons of bitches are tiny. Okay, Emily. I keep forgetting that you've never gotten the full Emily experience, unedited <laughs> Emily experience, <laughs> and that maybe I need to cool it a little. Am I still in frame? Look at that Da Vinci Michelangelo. <laughs> oh dear. This is zen. This is zen-like activity. My mom and I, I went over to have coffee with them this morning. Um, if you guys haven't tuned in before, my parents, I grew up in Iowa. My parents live like 10 minutes away and I'm an only child. And we're very close and I go and um, have coffee with them several times a week um, in the mornings like um, when I'm not working um, or you know after I do the things I got to do and um, just for like an hour and, and I we all go about our day 
it's wonderful. I love it. And um, we read the horoscopes. My dad always reads the horoscopes. And if you go back in journaling videos, you'll um, there's some where my dad, I videotaped my dad reading the horoscopes, but he had no idea that I was filming him. Those are pretty funny. I think they're called Horos with Grandpa Jim, if you search my channel. Um, but they got new, like, writers for the horoscopes in the Des Moines Register, and we just hate them. We hate them. It's like, they're not good anymore. They just talk about, like, the planets and stuff. They're like, but today was kind of funny because <laughs> it was, um, Venus was entering Uranus. <laughs> All of the horoscopes had to do with Venus entering Uranus. <laughs> and we're just such children that we just laughed and laughed and laughed. Because it was like, you're going to change up your look because you're feeling a little unsettled with Venus entering Uranus. <laughs> and you're thinking about, you're uh, seeking comfort. So in this time of Venus entering Uranus, you're seeking comfort. <laughs> So you're thinking about changing careers. <laughs> it was just so funny. I don't know, but it was hilarious. So that's the only time they've ever been good, though. They've kind of sucked ever since they changed the writers. Because before they never talked about the planets and stuff that was in the, you know. I mean, I know horoscopes are, like, based on what moon is in what sign and planets and all that stuff, but... I don't know. We just liked to hear about the other stuff, not the not the actual moons or whatever. <laughs> so, but that made us laugh. Does it make you laugh, Fatty? These little grasshopper parts are tricky. Because they are so small. I guess I can always paint over them to make them stand out a little. Okay, I need to get another brush that I can get in closer to these things. Is that good? Oh. Maybe good's not the word, but maybe night sky-ish, passable. sky e. adjacent. And this is just regular acrylic paint that I got at Michael's eons ago for some sort of craft project. I'm kind of trying to even it out a little but then in some ways I, I sort of like how it's uneven. Like it's soaking into the canvas unevenly. I think I see what they're talking about. Why gesso comes in handy. Because it soaks into the canvas. Maybe more evenly. But for a night sky, I kind of like how it's a little crazy. You know? A little crazy. Okay, I need a more precise brush. Let me rinse this off. I got a lot of strokes over here. But maybe that's what makes it so Da Vinci-like. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying the wrong artist's name. Is it Da Vinci? You guys are gonna crucify me. Starry Night, Leonardo Da Vinci, no? Why don't I know things? I went to a good school. very small detail you brush. Do I have that here is the question. This is this small enough? Or 
is it pretty much the same thing as that? Well, it's a little smaller. Okay. Is this going to be tedious as hell? Maybe. I guess I see the merit of painting your background color before you put collage down, possibly. Maybe. What do we say? I'm gonna have to go over those with a little paint pen. I'm like I'm just doing that. Those little ones are just so little. It's hard to get in close. What kind of projects are you guys working on? Is my head right in the way? I think it probably is. I do this when I'm journaling too. But I just don't know how to fix it without seeing what I'm doing, so. I can definitely see where the acrylic paint is like takes a little differently over where I've got the matte medium. It's like a little lighter. It doesn't soak in as much like to the canvas. So that's a learning experience. This is all a learning experience, right? <laughs> a lot of you have said collage is my favorite thing to do. What do you guys collage on? Just paper or canvases? Do you do pieces like this? What do you do? Just in your journal? So many artists among us. Fartists among us. What else can I tell you about? So tomorrow is supposed to be 70 degrees and possible tornadoes. And then Saturday morning, it's supposed to snow. <laughs> So if you ever wanted to move to Iowa, just don't. <laughs> just save yourself the hassle and don't. <laughs> no, it's actually a really nice place. It's just... <sighs> this winter is getting a little long. We haven't had that much. It doesn't seem like we've had that much snow this winter. At least, like, accumulating snow that we've had to, like hardcore shovel. This brush is so pointy. It's going to get on the cow and the moon. And I don't want that. I would like to use the little end. Ooh, that works kind of good. Oh. Hey, look at that. kind of works like a marker a little bit I got in there hmm, that's kind of cool well that's one way to do it oh hey look at that I feel like I keep encroaching on the nose of the frog even more, like more and more. 
I don't mean to. What's going on with you guys? What's new? You're going to be so disappointed in me. You know, I told you yesterday I had that going away party to go to. By the time I got home from work last night, I would have rather chewed glass than leave the house again. I didn't have to drive Addie anywhere because other people were driving. I could just sit at home, which I can never do. <laughs> Usually on weeknights because I'm just taking people places. And, um, I was like, oh my god, I just want to sit here. I don't, I don't want to go to a party. Michael, can I just not go? He's like, well, you'll have a lot of fun when you get there. I was like, don't make me. You can't make me go. I don't want to go. <laughs> He's like, well, you're an adult. You don't have to go. I was like, I love her. I love Chelsea, but I just want to stay home. <laughs> I don't want to go out. So I didn't go out. Isn't that terrible? I am so like that though, like with my like best friends and things that I want to do. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And then it comes to the time to do it. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I just want to lay on my couch and eat Cheez-Its. Why did you make me come here? <laughs> Why did you make me get out of my pajamas? <laughs> Ugh. The curse of the homebody. That is me. So, like a real turd, I didn't go. But I'm going to send Chelsea a card and write some loving words in it and maybe throw in a Target gift card. <laughs> that erases all sins, right? Hey, I'm sorry you're moving. Buy some toilet paper. <laughs> Everyone needs a Target gift card when they move, right? I'm just trying to make it okay in my mind. So if you have a different opinion, you can share it, but what's done is done. So just think if you want to make me feel guilty or not. <laughs> no, you probably should. I should have gone. But when I got home, there were, it just wasn't happening. It was not happening. I am who I am. You can't change me. Okay. I know you guys are skeptical at this point, but just give me time. I think it's going to get better as we go. I know it's looking a little rough. I concede that that is correct. But are you trying to make me feel better, Betty? So mommy, don't worry. Don't worry, it's art. Cricket in space. He is a cricket in space. But he's sitting on a leaf in the jungle. Did you guys watch that show on Netflix? The, um, what's it called? Um, um, with the survival show where they win a million dollars if they stay in Alaska. Um, if they were the last ones to stay in Alaska, like the wilderness camping and stuff. 
that was like Lord of the Flies shit. Those girls went cray. They went cray Z. If you <laughs> if you haven't watched it and you're you want to watch it, then don't listen to me. But I really I I think I don't know. I would be kind of embarrassed if I came home and I watched it and I was like, God, I really put my ass on display for everyone to see how freaking selfish I can be when it comes to money. Like, I know it's a million dollars, but even if it was a million dollars on the line and it could change your life, would you honestly like fuck over other people for it? Would you just like no holds barred, fuck them up and say, I don't care about you. This is a million dollars. Because that's what they tried to do. Multiple people tried to do that. And, and, and they, there like, wasn't rules. So there was no one saying, this is cheating or this is okay to do. It was like, they were like, no, let's do this. I don't think I could. <laughs> I know I couldn't. <laughs> I'd be like, um, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> nope, can't do it. This doesn't feel nice. They didn't seem to have a problem. Oh, this black paint pen. I wonder if I could get in here and if it would look like black or if it would look like navy. Oh, it's dry, so it doesn't matter what it would look like. <laughs> I'll dry it up if I flip it. Is there paint still left? One wonders. Mm, no, that is dry. I think this thing came with extra paint tips. Ooh, we're gonna try this. If there's paint in here. And I think it said you can shake it from you tip on and maybe it would still work. Like a cocktail shaker. Hmm? No, I think this is I think she dry. <laughs> oh, wait, there. I think that's what you do to get the paint out. Maybe it's not. smaller brush. I just need more paint. I'm going to speed through this part where I um, am doing these little crevices and then we'll talk again. You know what? I'm taking this navy that's not blended or doesn't have any black and I'm blending it in circles around this darker color because I think it's going to give the galaxy some depth because galaxy, the, it needs more tones. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love that. I kind of love that. Let's see how it dries. I'm just using my finger, going beast mode on it. Ooh, 
I love the navy with the black. It's giving it a little something. Maddie has danced tonight. So, and it's only an hour long class, so that means it's kind of silly for me to leave. Last time I just went for a walk during it, which I actually really enjoyed, so I think I'll do that again tonight. And then I can listen to more of my Trashy books. Love the trashy books. This is a, um, a series by T.L. Swan. It's, um, oh, I started it a, a long time ago. There's like a four in the series. Um, the first one was called The Stopover, I think. Yeah, The Stopover. And then there was, it's about these brothers. It's like the story of the brothers meeting their wives or whatever. Um, but they're really good. I love T.L. Swan, like the author. Um, she's really funny. They make me laugh out loud. And they're really racy, which I love. Um, and I just like, I don't have time for you if you tell me that you don't like that and that's gross. Like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. We don't have anything in common. <laughs> no, we do. I'm sure we do. I just, I just like, I enjoy it. So, you know, that's fine if you don't. Totally fine. Um, I know, but that there are people that love books like that. And I really don't think there's anything wrong with them. So come at me, bro. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm sure in the world of feminism and who, like, yeah, I just, I don't want to hear about it. I just enjoy reading about them, okay? <laughs> I just enjoy reading the books. Um, and I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the larger reaching implications. And, you know, like, if someone wants to be spanked, if that's bad or good, I don't care. If that's what turns your crank, man get going um but anyways I would highly recommend um this series by T.L. Swan the one that I'm reading right now I think it might be the last one which makes me really sad in the series is called um the do-over and it's it's cute um and I'm really enjoying it but I've only got like a couple hours left in the audiobook part and then I'm gonna have to find something else to read or to listen to while I work out. Ooh, that was too much navy. Too much navy. Um, if you need more recommendations of racy books, let me know because I've got a plethora that I can recommend. Michael and I are so different like it, it just like makes him so uncomfortable 
<laughs> he reads like um um like f like fantasy books um you know like nerd fantasy books um and he just laughs at me like what I'm reading you know he's like what are you reading I'm like smut <laughs> he's like you do you girl <laughs> I'm like, is there even any, like, love or sex or anything in those books? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, God. Why do you read them? <laughs> Sounds so boring. <laughs> Takes all kinds. Oh, no. I got navy on my grasshopper. Hoppy, you have navy on you. If this is Lady Bookmouse, then this is Sir Hoppy. He's a grasshopper. Obvi. What's the cow called? Clyde. No, it doesn't feel like a Clyde. What's the frog? Hmm. Fernando. Hey, Fernando. There's a little kid that comes into my office named Fernando, and I always sing that to him because I can't help myself. Oh, Fernando. He's, only <laughs> He's small, so he does not understand why I'm singing that, but I have to every time he comes in. Hey, Fernando. I really like the addition of this navy, like the, the different shades. I think it's adding to our galaxy feel. Don't you? You're like, I am bored stiff, Emily. Move on. <laughs> Let's see. This is, I think, where, where we have learned that the gesso would be handy because we probably wouldn't need to go back over these areas so many freaking times. Right? Right. But you know what? I don't care. Um, I got nothing better to do. Like what vacuum? Fold my laundry? Psh. Losers. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Why do I want? I want it to be crisp around him so that it kind of stands out. Maybe I could trace him in like a brown pen or something so that he sticks out a little bit more. Okay. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Do I at least have the crevices? The crevasses? This end of the brush trick kind of helped me. I'm going to have to clean up around the frog and around the cricket a little bit. It's going to, I don't know if I like that. I was trying to create some space in back of his leg, but I hope that worked. He's so small, it's hard to get detailed. Okay. What do we think? My God, this area is soaking up the paint. Jeez. What do the other people that you watch do this talk about? Because they must have really exciting lives if they have something to talk about every single damn day. I obviously don't. Oh, I was going to tell you that my mom and I went to Target after we had coffee. 
I distract myself from the, the points of my story. <laughs> um, because we wanted to, I needed to get a birthday card for my friend Nicole, one of my best friends, um, who turns 40 11 days after me. We've been best friends for our whole entire lives. And um, I wanted to get her a card and like pick her up a little something. And um, my mom wanted to smell these perfumes that they have at Target. They have a new line called uh, Finery. Finery. And they're kind of like dupes, kind of like Dossier, um, but different. I mean, they're not, the dupes aren't as like good as Dossier, I don't think. But we had heard that there was a dupe for the um, Santal 33, the Lalabo fragrance that's super popular. And um, like we have, we just don't have any department stores in around us close that carry those fragrances like Baccarat and um, Lalabo and like a lot of the more like prestige fragrances. Um, so we wanted to smell it cause we want both kind of wanted to know what it smelled like. And um, so we went and smelled it and she didn't like it as much as she thought she might. Cause my mom likes like patchouli and sandalwood and stuff. Damn hippie. Um, <laughs> but this one she didn't like very much. I mean, it was nice. It just, you know when you smell something that smells nice, but you're like, eh, it's not me. Like, that's kind of, that's kind of what this was. That's kind of how the Baccarat Rouge 540, such a popular perfume. Um, and I was dying to smell it because, you know, you hear so much about it. And, um, like, if you like perfume channels or beauty channels, like, I like fragrance. My mom and I have always loved fragrance and stuff like that, so... If you're just a regular person that doesn't you wouldn't have heard anything is what I'm trying to say like if you're not interested in stuff like this but um if you are then you've heard of it and uh so I bought it from dossier because I wanted to smell what it smelled like because I was dying to smell it I had heard so much and I got it in the mail and I heard it was a good dupe from people that were like really love Baccarat um because the a regular bottle, the regular bottle of Baccarat's like hundreds of dollars. So I was like, well, screw that. I just want to smell. I just want to smell kind of what it smells like and see if it's something I even like. Um, and obviously, if it's a good dupe, then I would buy that, not the real one. Um, and I got it and I was like, hmm, this is a smell. <laughs> it smells good, but I guess I've never... The dupe from Dossier is called Ambry Saffron. And I guess I didn't really know what saffron smelled like. And I don't think I like the smell of it. <laughs> it's not bad. It's def It's like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's got a medical quality to it, like plastic or band-aids or something. Um, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but I mean, it does smell nice. It's a, it's a particular smell. It's a definite smell. Um, no, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's, yeah, it's a smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just not like my smell. I love like warm, um, sort of woody, um, sort of sweet, um, fragrances. Those are my jam. Those are what I really love. Like, um, Elizabeth and James, um, Nirvana bourbon. They stopped making it, but that has been the perfume that I've loved for a long time. Like for a few years, like at least in, um, in colder weather. I love that perfume. It's so warm and like smells so good. Um, so those are the kind of fragrances I like. And then the summertime, like, I'm more of like a body splash kind of gal. Like, just something lighter, you know. But, um, it was fun to smell this. I'm gonna return it, because I don't... It's not my smell. And that, I like Dossier that you can return that stuff. Um, but, yeah, so we went and smelled that, and I got a, a little card for my friend, and... Uh, Addie has a birthday party on Saturday, so I had to get her friend a little gift. So. 
so that was what we did and then my mom drove home i drove home oh and then i um put the laundry in the dryer and then headed the gym to do the e-gym i'm gonna let this dry before i keep monkeying with it and i know i've got paint on like my flower and stuff but i can touch these up with paint and other things so this is only the beginning my friends i think but i love i love the um I love how the sky has turned out. I really like what we did with adding this navy here because I think it gave it some like cool depth, like made it look more skyy, spacey, or night sky-ish. Not space, but night sky. Space, night sky, whatever. Okay, quit messing with the grasshopper. You're painting him navy. <laughs> We'll fix it. Um, I hope you guys had fun. This was fun. This is very zen. This is very zen. I have to tell you. God, I want to like stripe a navy like right in here. This is such a zen activity. I hope I'm not boring you guys. If you have questions or things that you'd love to hear me talk about or my opinion on or if I've ever tried or read or tasted or smelled or anything just let me know and um give me some ideas of things I can talk to you guys about um I'm an open book and uh I'll be back and we'll leave this this one at this because I'm sure this is a really long video and all we did was paint a sky <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun, you guys. So I will see you in the next installment. And I hope you're having a great day. Bye.